If you are a novice Windows user and I said you need to worry about your drivers, the first thing you might think is this kind of driver. Thankfully, no. Today I'm talking about Windows drivers. And although this is something that most people don't pay attention to because when your Windows drivers are working, everything else seems to be working until they aren't. So we need to have that conversation. So what is a driver? Well, every computer has a bunch of hardware from your motherboard to your network adapter, your sound card, your wireless adapter, all of that stuff is just hardware. And that hardware needs to know how to operate properly. The software files on your computer that tell the hardware how to work are called drivers. And every Windows PC has them. They're usually located in a hidden folder inside the Windows directory. And if you don't ever go browsing through your Windows folders, you wouldn't even know that they were there but they play a very vital role in making sure that your computer runs properly. So now that you know what they are, let me tell you why it's so important to back them up and how to do it. Because when you do a typical backup, you usually just back up your personal files, but nobody ever thinks to back up drivers. Now in a situation where say you have to reinstall Windows, Windows Update usually does a pretty good job of finding and installing drivers for most hardware. But what if you have a device that you installed years ago that came with an installation disk that Windows doesn't update because it doesn't even know it exists, and the only way you can get that piece of hardware to work is from a driver disk that you haven't had in years, and as long as your computer's running and the hardware's running, you have no problems until you have to reinstall Windows. And now you're stuck in a situation where you don't have that original driver, and now that old hardware won't work anymore with the new Windows installation because you no longer have that driver disk. Today's video is sponsored by Aura. Your odds of winning a lottery jackpot? About 1 in 290 million. But some people still play their favorite numbers every week expecting to win. Your odds of your house burning to the ground? 1 in 3,000. But you pay every year for homeowner's insurance just in case. Your odds of having your identity stolen or being a victim of online crime? 1 in 4. Let me say that again so it sinks in. 1 in 4. And even though you spend all this money every year protecting everything else in the world, what are you doing to protect yourself against becoming a victim of online crime or identity theft? Unfortunately, a lot of people don't think about it until it's way too late. And that's where Aura comes in. And myself being a victim of identity theft in the past, trust me, that's a battle you do not want to fight. Data brokers sell your information to spammers and scammers. Your full name, your address, your phone number, health records, your relatives, it's all out there for the picking. We hear all the time about companies getting hacked and data breaches and all of that. AT&T just recently released that 73 million customer records were released on the dark web. And they recommend using strong passwords, monitor your account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from the credit bureaus. But who has time to do all that? I know I don't, but Aura does. Their system shows me which data brokers are trying to sell my data and then automatically submits opt-out requests for me. They also protect me against hackers who are trying to get into my social media bank accounts, and other personal information. Aura does all of this with just one app. To find out more, sign up for a two-week free trial at Aura.com slash AskYourComputerGuy and find out for yourself what's really out there with your name on it. Now, back to your video. Now, it is possible that that company that made that piece of hardware is still in business. You could probably download those drivers online, but I've seen many, many times where somebody has an old piece of hardware and the company is no longer in business. They no longer have the installation disk. They literally have no way to reinstall that hardware. Unfortunately, I've seen it happen way too many times over the course of my career. Or you could be in a situation like me, where unfortunately, because of my situation, I can only connect to my internet wirelessly. If I don't have my wireless drivers backed up, I have no way to get back online if I have to reinstall Windows. So having drivers backed up is super critical to get back up and running in a short amount of time if you have to reinstall Windows or replace a hard drive. And this is where Driver Max comes in. It is 100% free to download and use, and it will help you find rare or obscure drivers that Windows Update just can't find. It's also free to use to back up your existing drivers on your working machine, and this is where Driver Max really earns its stripes. Now, I've used Driver Max for years, and I absolutely love it. It has saved my bacon and client machines many, many times over. I love it so much, I bought a lifetime license, but you don't have to pay for it to get the benefits from it. Full disclosure here, I am partnered as an affiliate with Driver Max because I actually use this product and love it. And I think once you see what it can do, you'll love it too. And I'm not sponsored by Driver Max. It's just such an amazing program that I wanted to share it with my audience. Now, there are a lot of programs out there on the internet that do a decent job of keeping your drivers updated. Some are really good and some are kind of shady. Now, I can't vouch for all the other programs out there because I've only used a handful of them and Driver Max by far is my favorite. And as a general rule, if my hardware is working, I generally don't think much about keeping the drivers updated. 
even though it can potentially be a security risk at some point if someone exposes a vulnerability in an existing driver. So although this program will keep up with your current drivers and let you know when a new hardware driver is available, I really only use it for two things. So first, if I'm trying to find a very specific driver for a piece of hardware that I can't easily find, a lot of times driver max actually can find that driver and install it thereby keeping me from having to go track it down online and spend all day looking for a very specific driver and of course you know when you do that sometimes that's how you end up with malware on your machine from clicking the wrong link on the wrong website driver max takes care of all that and only gives you the actual legitimate safe driver to install and the second thing i use it for is what has really made me just fall in love with this program it lets me back up all my good drivers on a working machine in case I need to reinstall Windows. And as I told you before, if I'm on a wireless network and I have to wipe my machine, I have to have that wireless driver to get back online. I can't just go online because I don't have a connection yet. So having those backed up drivers is a point and click operation. I literally just select my wireless driver, it reinstalls it and boom, I'm back online. And that's why I really wanted to share this amazing program with you guys today. So with DriverMax, I can just simply open the program, go to the backup tab, and choose the drivers that I want to back up on my computer. You can back up one driver, two drivers, or all of them, depending on your needs. Now, I'd recommend backing them all up because it's better to have them and not need them later down the road in case you need to reinstall Windows. And they really don't take up any space on your computer, so why not back them all up? So when you back up these drivers, the program is going to create a zip file that contains all these drivers in one file. So when you have the zip file, you can just simply put it on a CD or a DVD or a flash drive, stick it in a drawer, and you'll always have all your drivers available just in case you need them. So if you ever have to reinstall Windows, you'll know that you have all the drivers you need to get 100% back up and running with all your hardware in good shape, including that rare, obscure piece of hardware that you no longer have the drivers for. And the program is free. So if you ever need to restore a driver, you simply open the program, you go to the restore tab, you point it to that zip file that you backed up, and then you give it a few minutes and it's gonna open up and show you all the drivers that it's backed up. And then you can just simply select one or two or 12 or all of all those drivers that's been backed up and then just let it restore them. It's literally that simple. And did I mention it's free? Now, if you couldn't tell already, this program has absolutely been one of my favorites over the years. I like it so much and found it so useful for what I do every day that I bought the lifetime license. But as I told you before, you don't have to pay for it to use it. But I bought the lifetime license because for me, when I'm working on a client machine, I need to be able to click one time and back up all the drivers. And then I can turn around and reinstall all those drivers with one click after the Windows reinstall. But for you, your needs may vary. But I 1000% recommend you at least give it a shot. The worst absolute thing that can happen is you have a backup copy of your existing drivers. And with so much focus now being on backing up personal files, nobody ever thinks about their hardware until after it's too late. But I promise you, if that time ever comes, you're going to be so thankful that you did. So what are the limitations of the free version of DriverMax versus the pro version? Well, after my years of using this many, many times, the only downside that I can see is one thing, and that's when you install drivers, you can only install drivers one at a time with the free version. Okay, so I have to make a small correction here. When I went back and edited the video, I realized I misspoke. With the Driver Max free version, you can download two drivers per 24 hour period. But if you have the pro version, it's unlimited. Just wanted to be clear about that. If you have the pro version, you can select all your drivers, click install, it creates restore points and backs everything up and just installs them. But if you only need to do one or two drivers, like for that obscure piece of hardware that you bought 20 years ago, you can use the free version all day, back up those drivers, and if you ever need it, you can restore them and the program is 100% free. And if you just wanna have a backup copy of your drivers so that you could manually install them with Windows later, you can do that with the free version. There's no limitations on backing up your files with the free version. So I do absolutely recommend at least going and downloading the program and installing it now. Even if you decide to never pay for it, that's fine. You're gonna have a backed up copy of all of your working drivers for whatever you decide to use them for later. If you don't like the program after backing up the drivers, just uninstall it. You'll still have all those working drivers saved on your computer, and if something happens down the road, you'll have peace of mind knowing that you don't have to chase those drivers again. I really do hope you found this video useful. Driver Max has been a favorite program of mine for such a long time, and I'm so glad you let me share it with you today.
Let me know in the comments what you think of Driver Max, or if you have a different program that you prefer, make sure you let me know. Now I'm currently working on a much bigger video, which is going to list all my favorite programs, both personal and techie. When that video is ready, you'll see it pop up right here on your screen. Or if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, make sure you do click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that when I do release that video, you'll get notified immediately. As always, thanks so much for watching this video, and we'll talk again in the next one.